Hello everybody, this is Dragoon1140 here bringing you the next Let's Talk. We're going to be discussing another For the Noobs Elements of the Game video, and we're going to be discussing Darkness by popular request. Darkness is an interesting theory behind it, in that you use your opponent's strength against him. So as I can show you when we make our deck, it actually is an interesting theory behind it. As always, remove the other cards in the deck, including the Quantum Pillars and the Dagger. Remove all the Aether stuff, with the exception of two to keep your deck at 30 cards so you can sell all of them. Buy two Devourers. Devourers are going to be more or less the strength of your deck, and you'll see why when I actually play it. Sell those two excess Aether Pillars. Go back to Darkness. Now, buy one Gargoyle, and this deck actually requires the most jumping back and forth before you get any action. It's just the way it works out. What you do is you keep selling parasites and buying gargoyles. I bought two right there. Sell the two parasites since you're not going to be running in death mark. You cannot run parasites very well at all. Go back to darkness. Buy a dusk mantle. This will mean you have two dusk mantles in your deck, which is helpful. Remove the nightfall. Some people might disagree with this, but you don't need a nightfall with what you're going to be playing with. and right there you have your very basic darkness build obviously if you want you could take out the steels and add in more black dragons it's really your choice and as we will get to playing level one ideally you should be playing level zero to get the reward down but we really don't need to right now lay down all your pillars as always Unfortunately, we did not start with any Devourers, which is what I planned, but it's all good. You'll notice that you can play the spell Drain Life, but do not. Drain Life actually gets stronger the more Quanta you hold. Now that we're gathering out of Quanta, play a Gargoyle or any similar monster card. Gargoyles have a sk skill called Stone Form, which with one Earth Quanta you can instantly gain 20 health. It's nice, but it's really not worth it, especially when you're running a Darkness Mark. So keep playing what you're playing, play your dust mantles, uh, steal all you can. If your opponent is running steel, you can steal your dust mantle back. What steel does, and it's based, it was recently nerfed in the last few patches, I believe. It steals the targeted permanent. So say if your opponent had this time factory, you can steal the time factory back, so it's no big deal. Now I finally drew my devourer. What devourers does, and what it's called upgraded is pest, is it takes one random quanta at the end of your turn and converts it into one darkness quanta. So, as you can see at the end of the turn, I took one time quanta and can transform it into one darkness quanta. This is what you make your. This is what w will make your deck faster than what it is. Um, if you watched my previous video, you'll notice that Gorgoyle was amphitoxined, but it was really no big deal. Hopefully, my opponent doesn't get a shield at it, and even if he does, I can just steal it. If you want to get rid of malignant cells before they spread, you can cast any sort of damaging spell on it, like I will cast Drain Life on my malignant cell. That may make this game a bit longer, but it was worth it not to uh, make my field covered in malignant cells. Now, now that we're on our quanta gathering spree and playing more monsters as we get going, um, I'll be able to Drain Life him pretty much to death. If you'll notice, almost all my darkness creatures can uh, combine with Earth to some random effect. Devourers can burrow so they can't be touched, and gargoyles can stone form, like I said before. It's a nice synergy, but not something I'm willing to make a deck for. I mean, it's nice, but eh. Alright, now that we're gathering enough drain lives, we should be hitting around 100 quanta before we can instant kill him. If you notice now that we're getting all these devourers out, it's really hard for him to gather enough quanta to play anything. Mind you, it's level one, but still. We have our maximum six cards out, all devourers. Hopefully we'll get a dragon. Steal his sword if you wish. And now we're nearing the end of the game. It's nice that I'm able to show you the drain life effect though. Alright after we draw this next card 
A steel, nice. Okay. What Drain Life does is it drains two hit points from the target for every ten quantums darkness quantums you're in your possession. Right now I have one hundred and eleven quanta. Um, that means that it's eleven times two, so twenty-two damage, and then twenty-one damage for the second drain life. As you'll notice, I'll target his hit points directly, and that's a lot of hit points he just lost. This highly encourages Electrum Masteries if you're into that, and it's just fun to play. I'll finish him off with another drain life, instant kill, spin as always for extra fun. And that is your basic darkness deck. Obviously, you can add anything. You can make it six drain lives if you really want to. Uh, you can add more dragons, which is always nice. You can completely get rid of the steals. You don't actually need those since if you're relying on drain lives, any shield that can reflect spells like drain live is a mortal anyway, so you can't touch it with steel. Very fun deck to play. It was made by popular demand. I mean, like, a ridiculous amount of people PM me asking for this. Anyway, fun deck. Have fun playing it. I will be making another tutorial soon. So, see y'all.